So, uh, Billboard basically is an American music and entertainment magazine. That's how it started, right? That magazine provides music charts, news, video, opinion, reviews, events, and all this other stuff. So, again, Billboard started as a just a magazine. And then when that magazine created a chart, that chart um, was public information, which made other people want to be on the chart, of course. Basically, what the chart does is it highlights your sales. It highlights um, your radio spins. It highlights the traction that you're getting for your music. And so because it is a staple in the music business and because so many people put so much stock in being on the chart. And I mean, it's obviously the place that you want to be like. If you're in Billboard Hot 100, that means you're selling a lot. If you're in Billboard Billboard 200, that means you're selling. They have other charts too, like the um the Song Breaker charts and the they just have different charts and they get these charts based off of metrics. That's what they do. They get these charts based off metrics. And the metrics is being generated from the information that is submitted to them via Luminate. Now, this information uh, used to come, let's go, what is, so the, the, use, the information used to come from BDS and, and sounds and stuff like that, but what I told you guys in the beginning of the year was that information changed in October of 2022, so now because that information changed, you guys are now having to learn a new way to register the music for Billboard. And so I get a lot of comments on that video because that video has a, whole, a ton of streams and people say, well, the links aren't working, the links aren't working. And what I did was I went in and I actually changed the link to, Lum I think I changed it to Luminate, I don't remember. But um, in the book, I give you guys the links to Luminate um, so that you can have them on hand because a lot of people are not organized. That's another thing that you guys got to learn how to be is organized. But I got the links in the book so that you can have it on hand. And if you get the ebook version of my new book, you can just click on the links um, directly from um, the book. But again, the way that you um, register the music um, is through Luminate. So one of them is pink. And then one of them is purple, I mean, uh, blue. And basically all of the information associated with your song is sent to Luminate via this Google Docs uh, portal right here. And when you submit it, um, obviously you register the song with MediaBase. That hasn't changed. Um, uh, MediaBase... Uh, that hasn't changed. It, they updated the portal, but the overall consensus of MediaBase hasn't changed. So again, you guys are still going to be uh, using the same MediaBase link. It's just the portal, the way the um, the interface is just going to look different. Um, and I actually like this interface much better because once you submit your song, they send you emails letting you know, like, hi, I submitted the song. The song is here. And it's just kind of more structured and more organized um again luminate is what took over bds so remember when we used to have to log into our virtual encoding website we don't do that anymore we use these luminate um things and we submit the song through luminate and that's basically how you're going to populate the billboard chart information and um so now it's like all right you put the song out and you take all of the data for the song and you submit it to luminate and sounds um sound exchange i mean not sound exchange you submit it to luminate you submit it to media base and um they basically populate the charts so uh another one that we were looking at is scan, sound scan. 
So uh, people ask, well, uh, why does sound scan um, don't matter anymore? Does sound scan still exist? So again, BDS, virtual encoding, and sound scan were the same company. Um, it says in, 19, in, in 2019, Nielsen SoundScan was acquired by Illuminate, formerly MRC Data, and SoundScan was merged into another music sales tracking tool called MRC Data um, Music Connect. So in 2022, the name was changed again to Illuminate Music Connect and is currently the industry standard for music streaming and chart tracking. So now we're solely using Luminate to track music data so if you're putting your music out on digital kid and you're getting tons and tons of streams 200,000 streams you should be you should be registering your music with luminate because you want to make sure that your streaming data is being populated because again most artists aren't registering their music on these different um platforms so um Again, this information about BDS, oh look, that's my video right there. So this information about SoundScan and BDS just changed in October of 2022. And if you watch my new video, and I'm actually gonna link this video for you guys, how to register your songs with Luminate, then you'll see, okay, this is exactly what it is that I needed to know. And again, in my new book, I'm, sh I'm, I'm showing you how to register, release, and promote your music, not just release your music. All of this information that I'm giving you guys on my channel is very valuable information because all you got to do is apply it, stay consistent, and you'll be able to really start registering and releasing your music and getting tapped into your royalties 